And so, like I said, I already cut some squares out, but if you have your big piece of paper, you can just fold it over and then trim off this side, okay? So I already did that to this piece of paper. So now it's a nice perfect square. I had folded it, I cut off this edge. Now it's a square. Step on this way, you're gonna fold it. And then we're gonna fold it again. And so then I have this little triangle and this side's nice and pointy. This side's all open. And then this side is a little open. From the folded side to the side that has the two. And you're gonna make three lines. And I'll draw the lines on there. And they're going to go almost to the edge, but you don't want to go all the way to the edge. Otherwise, you'll cut your triangle and then it won't work. It should look about like that. Okay. So all of them go to about one little fingerprint away from the edge. And they should be about the same distance from the edge here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut along my lines. All right, so then you're going to cut along your lines and you're going to open it back up. So I'm just going to open it up and smooth it out. And you have to be kind of careful again because it will kind of stick to itself. The sharp little corners we cut into it kind of stick to themselves. Well, I'll show you kind of the idea. So you have this shape that now has like these lines in it cut into it and so you're going to start with the two in the middle let me do it this way the two in the middle so we have these two in the middle and what you're going to do is you're going to put them together and then use a little piece of tape to hold them together so it makes like a little roll so these are the two middle cuts and i'm going to pull them up and i'm going to stick them together with a piece of tape okay so let me get a piece of tape here and I found it's easier if you put the piece of tape on one side or glue or whatever, and then just fold the other one kind of next to it and then just kind of like smush it down. Ooh, but my tape smushed down first. Okay. The other thing you can do is put like a pencil to kind of help you hold it and then smush the other one and then kind of smush it down. And then you can kind of stick your finger in and make sure your tape or your glue is nice and tight. Then you're going to flip this whole thing over and do the next row of cuts. So I'm going to flip it over and it's okay if you smush the, the middle down a little bit, it won't hurt anything. And I'm going to take my next two cuts, I can get them. So I'm going to take my next two cuts here and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to get to put it on the outside here and I'm going to bring up the other side and I'm going to squish them together. Move it down. So now I have a roll on this side. We're going to flip it back over and we're going to do the same thing with this next section of cuts. So I'm going to take my next layer of cuts and I'm going to tape them together and just fold it over. I'm folding it over maybe half an inch. Not too far. You probably can't see exactly how much I overlapped it with my light here, but not too far. And then for the very last one, you'll flip it over one more time and you'll tape them together. Just like you did all the others. So you're gonna fold up your sides, flip it, fold up the sides, flip it, fold them up, flip it, fold them up. Okay, so this is making one arm of a snowflake, okay? So it doesn't look like much yet. You're gonna make six of these, okay? Now, I already made five. So this was my number six to help save some time. So I have all my others hiding up here above me. 
All right, so now I have this mess of snowflake legs, arms, whatever. I'm gonna set these aside for a second. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna attach all of them together. Top and the bottom of the arm is the same, but you're gonna take this little spot up here of one, and you're going to attach it to that same little spot of another. And you can kind of pinch them together. And you can use tape again, or you can use a stapler, and you're just gonna staple them together like that. And then you're gonna take the next arm, and you're gonna lay it next to those that are already, so these two are stapled together now. We have a little staple in the middle at the bottom here. So I put a staple right there. Now I'm going to take this third arm and I'm going to pinch it there in the middle and put another staple. Or if you have tape, let me grab the tape. Or you can just tape them all together. Oh, sorry. You can't that tape them all together and you're gonna do that with all of them so I have three here and I have another three here and for this part I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move my screen because now you guys don't need to see my folds or anything you just need to be able to see a little bit better the um mm -hmm. these guys so I have three here that are all hooked together in the middle and I have three here that are all hooked together in the middle. And then I'm just going to do my last thing is to put these all together. So I'm just going to take my insides and I'm going to fold them over so they all overlap. I'm going to put one more staple. And this part's the hardest to staple because you kind of have to like squish in between all the legs. When I put in that last staple, it's a big giant snowflake. 